Many families continue to be separated from their loved ones due to the necessary border closures. But while we continue to hear of foreign nationals finding loopholes to sneak across the borders, many family members are still separated from their loved ones. This includes Sarah Campbell from Stratford, whose British fiancé is unable to come to Canada. It was bad enough that they had to cancel their wedding. But now, after a recent diagnosis with thyroid cancer, her, her fiancé is unable to join her here in Canada. Her pleas to the Minister of Public Safety have been met with apathy. Will the Minister commit to providing guidelines to allow for the for entry of those in long-term uh, relationships on compassionate grounds? The Honourable Minister. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, I, and frankly, I, I reject the, the suggestion that, that we have responded to these many issues with any apathy at all. We've worked diligently on them. Our first priority has to be the protection of the health and safety of Canadians. That's why we've implemented these very reasonable restrictions. But we've also worked very closely with individuals who, who, who are seeking to reunite with family members and to deal in, with a in a compassionate way, always keeping in mind the safety and security and the health of Canadians. The Honourable Member for Perth Wellington. Mr. Speaker, when my constituent contacted the Minister's office, he told her, his office told her, that there was nothing he could do and he sh she should instead contact my office. Now, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to take over the running of his department, but until that time, will he do his job and ensure that those in compassionate situations are able to be reunited with their loved ones? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I, I wouldn't speculate on the Member opposite's capability of doing this job or any other. <laughs> But, but I will say, Mr. Speaker, my office has been working very, very diligently with people right across the country and with members of, of all sides of this House. M MPs have, have contacted my office, and we've worked very closely with them, and will continue to do so. A lot depends, of course, on the way in which a member approaches my office. Honourable Member for Perth, Wellington, a very short question, please. Mr. Speaker. The lack of compassion from the Minister of Public Safety, Safety is quite frankly galling. This individual has contacted his office, the Prime Minister's office, on multiple occasions and yet has failed to receive a response on this matter. We're talking about a young woman suffering with thyroid cancer and this minister is showing no compassion to her British fiancé. Will the minister commit today to following up on compassionate grounds? Yeah, yeah. Honourable Minister. What the Minister will commit to is, as we have right from the outset, we are doing our very best to ensure that all Canadians are treated with care and compassion. We will never re relent on our commitment to keep Canadians safe. That's why we've implemented these very sensible and reasonable uh, restrictions on non-essential travel at the border. There are some exceptions, and we try to deal with them in every case in an exceptional way to deal with people with compassion, but we will not compromise the health and safety of Canadians.